Ripley. Ripley, we're about to move into position for the auto umbilical dock sequence. We'll be dark on comms until we've matched the decaying orbit of the station and are in position. We're just waiting on you to extend the towing platform clamps. I don't know how you sweet talk me into this. Well, you know, I'm just sexy that way. I was gonna give you my watch. Yeah, that is a cool watch with the double <laughs> face and everything. Mm -hmm. it's from the engineer staff, the ship's cat. I seriously wondering how many of those, how many that of that cosplay we're going to see this year. Uh, so otherwise, we'll see. I, I'm not gonna make a prediction. I think we'll see at least one. Okay, I could be, I could understand that. But I don't think, uh, I do think we'll see a uh, merry band of working Joes as well. Oh, yeah. That wouldn't surprise me. That's pretty easy to pull off <laughs> with the right, the right mask and just some... Oh, Jesus. That's creepy. Every time I think I'm done... What else I, are they going to throw at you? Seriously, I've been waiting to load a section for three transitions now. Oh. Is this what they meant by decaying orbit? Yep. Nope. Fire doesn't kill them. I will menacingly walk you to walk toward you while I'm on fire. Because I am. Mm. Are you sure a vent shaft is the best place to be right now? No. Okay, just checking. I still want to know if a bolt gun will, uh... Oh, this is just a place to hide. No. Oh. Damn it! Molotov. Beep, 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 boop, 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 boop. Because <laughs> Molotov is like the only thi other thing aside from the flamethrower that will deter a Xeno, so... Might as well use it. Well, might as well have as many on standby as I can muster. Proceed to evacuate. Well, yeah. Women and androids first. Women and androids first? I doubt there are any children on here. Well... And he left. I doubt there are any to begin with. At this point in the story, probably. Well, when this... In the uh, backstory to the game, this space station was being decommissioned. Well, oh, there mother were... Motherfucker. Well, we know there were a few families left. But there were very few. And even they were trying to get the F out. Which is funny, because in a decommissioned station, with minimal access to educational facilities and whatnot, I would think that children would be off-limits. Married couple, shock! Okay, Alberto, go away. You are not welcome here. Rockin' and rollin', rockin' and a rollin', Barbara Ann. <laughs> Not been interesting. Comparing this to the game Dead Space is a very interesting way to look at it. Oh. Because they, with, no, with Dead Space, I think everyone who was in the creative team got to create one variation on how he was killed. Yeah. In this case, you have like, what, two? 1984. Maybe three? Maybe. So... After evacuation, do not... Okay, I think because Al didn't see me, he thinks that this place is a bad place. 
maybe it's a good thing. Well, it's definitely a good thing. One, nine, eight, four. Oh, sweet blessed flamethrower fuel. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's not much, but every little bit counts. Yes, it does. Yes, it does indeed. Are you sure about that? Well, you know, he didn't hop in and hop back in immediately. He may have just been slow on the pickup. Emergency. I hope. I'm waiting for your synthetic emergency. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Use key card. This is the ultimate game of hide and seek, I swear. Yep. Okay. Back again. Okay. Yeah, like I said. Orbital stabilizer failure. Um abandoned station. Abandoned station. I'm desperately low on flamethrower fuel. And it looks like <clears throat> our friends are going to be in hot pursuit. So, yeah. You, uh, you get that bell ready. <laughs> and then it'll just be a question of what really stupid shit I do to try and avoid them, and what works and what doesn't. Evacuate station. No. This is not the drill. So, okay, let's see here, that door is locked, that door is blocked. <sighs> that door is powered down, that door is blocked. So, if you were a survivor on the station, what would you do to try, to try and stay alive? Um... Try to cooperate with as many people as possible. I, I would... I would be the guy that says, okay, survival... You know, survival is only possible by working together. Mm -hmm. Which is true. I'd have a simple idea. What? Stockpile everything you need in one of the cells in the... in the... Marshall's... Marshall Bureau. Have an override key or code or whatnot to get yourself out. Because there are no vents in that room. Mm-hmm. You lock your butt... have somebody lock your ass in. And hold on the fort. And then turn yourself into basically a TV dinner. <laughs> well, not if not if they can't open it. Um, but need I remind you? And granted, we are uh, genre savvy, so we we know what's about. But in Aliens, it was shown that they have the raw strength to rip through most doors. Okay. So. So in the end, that would not be the best option. It's a terrible option, actually. <laughs> well, it was a thought. The best, 
the best thing to do is to try... <clears throat> try and get off the station would be the kind of the goal. Get off the station would be kind of the goal. But in the meantime, uh, survival of as large a group of people as you can would be the ideal solution. So, be aware. Oh, and if you're listening to this and you're not on the team, don't come find us. We will shoot. Really? Really. Jerk. What is it with people and not being willing to band together? Can't say I'm surprised, but... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. That's the way it is. God damn it, Al. Liss. Berto. Oh, wow, there are all these lockers up here. A way to be able to access them to make sure you're not going to get eaten. You don't want to be a TV dinner yourself. Yeah. That's a TV dinner. Wouldn't a wouldn't the very first alien be the equivalent of a candy bar, or the very first one that turned queen, or that in the first one? Uh. Spacesuit. Oh. <laughs> to quote Charles Barkley, that's terrible. <laughs> I know. 